right, 448, if you are planning out your weekend, and a lot of people are because of Blink, but there's also a ton of stuff going on still. Mm -hmm. We've got UC's homecoming mm -hmm. and the pumpkin jack-o'-lantern glow over at the zoo still. There's a lot going on. Yeah, you might still need to go get your pumpkins. Fall sports are starting to wrap oh, yeah. up. It's a big weekend at my house for that. Randy, <laughs> all the things going on. The calendar is packed, and this is one of those weekends where in the morning it feels like winter time, but in the afternoon it kind of seems like spring, and then in the fall and the evening. So Layers are going to be your friends into the weekend. Here's what to expect. Our high temperatures each day are warming. Today will be low 60s, but we're going to be around 70 or so on Saturday or Sunday with a lot of sunshine. So you're like, all right, cool. We can wear, you know, t-shirts and we'll be good until the sun goes down. So bundle up for blink or anything you have going on in the evenings because our temperatures are going to be diving through the 50s as the sun goes down and likely quickly falling into the 40s. So bundle up for blink, but know that we're going to have a couple of really nice afternoons. Now, it's not going to be this cold for any of the blink events. Our 38 degrees right now. Our winds are calm. Our skies are clear. The temperatures tend to head down toward the dew point on nights like this. So plan on temperatures falling a few more degrees here before the sun comes up. And you can see there are some spots that are down closer to freezing. We've got 32 in Fairfield and in Hamilton, 33 in Morrow, a 34 there for Loveland and Middletown. Uh, right now, 35 in Kenwood. So everyone's on the cool side to start out and likely to fall a few more degrees here before the sun comes up. So plan on right around freezing and the potential for some frost on the windshield this morning. I know it was kind of in some spots yesterday, I think a little bit more widespread for us this morning. Here's the 12 hour forecast taking you through today. Plan on mid 30s through the morning rush. So definitely a wintry feel, maybe winter coat worthy. Uh, by the time we get to noon, sunny skies and 54 and they'll be right around 60 degrees at four o'clock this afternoon. So a nice kind of refreshing fall feel. As for blink plans, let's take a look. These are the temperatures at eight o'clock each evening tonight through Sunday. So you can kind of gauge uh, what your family needs to wear. So tonight for the parade, It'll be nice and bright, but you know, bundled up about 52 degrees as the parade steps off. Friday night at 8 p.m. will be at 56. Saturday, it's probably the warmest temperatures we'll have. Comfortable, about 63 degrees at 8 p.m. and then falling into the upper 50s. And then Sunday night at 8 o'clock, we should be around 56. So dress for the 50s, you'll be good to go. Today, 62 for our high. It's a frosty start, but we'll have sunny skies. It'll just be comfortable through the day. The wind's very, very light for us today. Uh, tonight, we're going to drop down to 38. Potential for maybe a, a few areas of patchy frost, especially in more sheltered areas. As we look ahead to the weekend, it's a big one. We dropped to 38 tonight, 68 tomorrow. Let's take a look at that Saturday forecast. It's UC's homecoming. The parade steps off on Clifton Abbott. 8 a.m. on a Saturday. College kids up at 8 a.m. All right, here we go. 43 degrees for that one. So a cold start Saturday morning. Kickoffs at noon. It'll be sunny and 63. And then to close out your weekend on Sunday, a Sunday morning, running errands, going out for a run, plan on temperatures in the mid 40s. Watching the Bengals at the Browns. It'll be a nice fall afternoon. One o'clock. We're at about 68. So maybe a place with an outdoor TV. And for the last night of blank again, temperatures will be in the 50s. There is a warm up next week. Temperatures trending mid, maybe mid upper 70s before some rain Wednesday night. Randy, thank you so much. The full Bengals team was on the practice field as they prepare for Sunday's matchup.